Okay, this is a Blender tutorial to show you how to make a missile or a rocket um, in a way that I've not really seen, be, seen been done before on, on YouTube. Um, it basically lets you create something quite easily but then allows you to edit it really easily afterwards um, and keeps all sides uh, symmetrical. So here we go, this is our default screen. Um, I'm going to select our cube and click delete. That removes that and I, now I want to view it from the, the side there so I click X and I'm going to add a cylinder by clicking shift and A on the mesh there we go there's cylinder now I want to choose the amount of um, uh, vertices I'm going to add and I'm going to go for it's, the, the fault is 32 I'm going to go for 20 and the reason why I've chosen that is that any that number I choose uh, needs to be a multiple of four of an odd number and the odd number I've chosen is five and the, multi the five times four is 20 and you'll hopefully see why that is later on I could have gone for um, what's the next five so I could have gone for seven times four which would be 28 but 20 is fine there we go okay so that's that now then what I want to do with my cylinder is click on it click R for rotate click X to tell it what axis to rotate in and then I'm going to click 9 0 to tell it to rotate to 90 degrees and click enter okay now for the purposes of this video I'm going to make my um, missile really short and stubby and fat and the reason for that is if I made a long and thin one like a normal missile you just you just wouldn't see all the detail that I'm trying to do on screen it would just be too far away too thin and all the vertices would be too close together so what I'm going to do with this one is just click S for scale Y I'm just going to make it a little bit longer like that there's our short fat stubby basis for our missile okay now we've done that I'm going to click tab to go into our um, edit mode I'm going to come in and click loop cut if I move over here now, loop cut wants to default to the center point between the two adjacent loop cuts, which is what it's trying to do. But I need to click my mouse button, left mouse button, and just drag it over to a different position. There we go, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna move my mouse a little bit further over. Again, it's positioning itself center point there. I'm gonna click on that, but I don't just wanna create one loop point there now. I want to create several. So I come down to my menu options, my loop cut and slide options button here and I'm going to increase the number of cuts there to 10. No rhyme or reason, just fairly arbitrary, doesn't have to be exactly 10. There we go, and I'm going to exit the loop cut function, function by just going over to move. There we go. Next thing, let's. I want to remove the back face, so let's go to the face, click on the back face there and click delete. Delete faces. There we go, again back to the X. Oops. There we go. Okay, what I'm going to do next, just going to click, um, select my vertices there. What I want to do next is select all the vertices on the right hand side here. Um, so I'm going to click on show x-ray. There we go. And that lets me, um, if I click B now and highlight those, the x-ray means that as well as selecting the vertices in the foreground, I'm also selecting the vertices in the background that are usually kind of hidden. From the selection tool there we go now to get a nice smooth curved shape I'm going to use proportional editing up here top button click it to turn it on on the right hand drop down here you can choose how the other vertice vertices in the vicinity are influenced and in what shape I'm going for inverse square there we go now come over here click s for scale okay and that um, that circle that's popped up there is showing us the circle of influence that I can change using my mouse wheel like so and I want to position it like that so that the it doesn't quite reach the last line of vertices but it sits in between that one and the one before it there we go um, and I'm going to click zero on my keypad there we go and click enter and what that's done it's just um, it's made a nice kind of curved shape there like so and we have a nice smooth shape that I probably couldn't would have taken me ages to do uh, manually. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to turn off um, 
x-ray now and I'm going to view it from the front like so and I'm also going to remember sometimes I forget this it can be quite annoying turn off proportional editing there we go all right then let's zoom in so the next thing I want to do I'm going to click C oh let's go into sorry loop let's go into sorry um, edge select there up near the top left select to that click C and let me just uh, you can you can change the size of this with you with your mouse wheel again what I'm going to do here I'm going to select this selection of edges it could be a selection further in or it doesn't matter oops um, I have to just I think it's it there we go there we go if you uh, I don't want to do that one so what I've done I've selected three quarters of the edges leaving um, a quarter if you like a, a quadrant of these edges untouched so you can see there's a quarter of there that's completely untouched there we go and if I just move around now with those edges selected you can see what's selected and what isn't um, I'm going to come up here click select select loops and I think it's is it edge loops edge loops yes it is sometimes I forget and I get that wrong so it's selected three quarters of the edge loops and now I'm going to delete and I want to delete vertices there we go and that's exactly what I want that's this is the little trick that makes it different basically from from the other demonstrations I've seen um, there we go let's just come out of edit mode now by clicking tab so you can see we've got a quarter of our missile now hopefully you're getting the gist of where I'm going here now because if I view it from the front again like so um, and then we come in to our panel on the right here on our mod modifiers and if I add a modifier I come down to mirror there we go it's also the default there is um, it's, it reflects in the x-axis now I'm going to add reflection in the y-axis and now we've got our missile shape still um, but basically what it means is we edit one quarter of our missile shape and that has the same effect it, it, it multiplies that effect over the other three remaining uh, quadrants of our missile okay this all looks a bit scrappy at the minute it's, and please ignore the idea that it's that it's looking really fat but it does work really well as, and I'll show you in a minute how, how it all works okay so I'm going to turn off um, I'm not going to turn it off I'm just going to not not view the mirror modifier so you can turn off this screen here which which basically takes away your view of the modifier and it's so it returns it back and you can kind of reintroduce that really quickly just by clicking that again um, okay so my next trick to make everything work well and this works especially if you're going to use it um, reference images in the background so I've clicked on that and I, and I want to build a fin now the most obvious place to build a fin to be honest isn't at the top here because that's in that's on a kind of um, edge break the most obvious place to build a fin is in the middle of one of these kind of uh, um, pa panels um, faces whoops control Z don't want to move that okay so to work with that what I'm going to do I'm going to click R for rotate then Y for rotate on the Y axis and I'm going to click minus 45 and that now puts if we're going to build a fin it puts it at the top and if I view from the right hand side any fin we make we can view it exactly perpendicular to our viewport okay so let's have a look we're going to build a fin here and the way we're going to do that let's just go back again I'm going to create another edge loop I'm going to go into tab click edit I'm going to create an edge loop here we go there's one and I'm going to position where I want the back of my fin to go like so it's created another one I'm going to position now where I want my next um, fin to go like so okay now if I was doing this with real I'd probably introduce another set of fins further forward a bit more how I'd probably miss I go but this is just a tutorial there we go and I'm going to exit that oops back in let's just go to there let's just have a look at the top okay didn't my, there we go so we want our fin to go here but that's going to be way too fat really which is and that's this is I've done this for a reason um, so now I'm going to select there oh, let's do edges let's come in and actually let's select that as a face 
that's coming in loop cut there we go I'm going to click that there and I'm going to come down here and do that introduce two loop cuts so it's basically divided that section there into thirds which is fine so I'm happy with that there we go I'm going to select this face here there we go okay nice and I'm going to click E for extrude so it just goes up it goes vertically up let's just move it from the right this is what I mean so you can see what the uh, the fins are doing now we can make our adjustments here probably a bit fat really if you, um, but it doesn't have to be like that because I might just um, if I click S for scale and then click X S X I can scale that inward like so I'm just scaling it in the one direction I think what I also do you can play with your, your shape a little bit here so you can see I've gone I'm selected an edge there so I'm going to might do that there like so um, that's it okay again it's a little bit clumsy at the minute it's a bit fat but that's fine um, let's just make let's just make this come a bit further after as well there we go exit with Go back into that now. Now let's assume that I'm. Oh, I tell you what, I haven't done it. it was, it was all, let's let's go back in and click uh, click my mirror modifier back on like that. Brilliant. As you can see, it all looks a bit jagged, but that is nothing to worry about. Um, I can come and right click on there and click um, shade smooth. There we go. Now, when you do that, you get some strange looking artifacts artifacts here coming in and um, that's because it's kind of fighting with other sharp edges and whatnot but that's easily fixed um, a really good trick here is to add another modifier add modifier uh, where is it edge split there we go edge split and that just makes all the kind of edges a bit sharper um, and and uh, as you can see some some slight edging going on here but that's that's not not too much to worry about you can also fix this in a third way add modifier subdivision surface there we go and you can just kind of um, oh, actually, I'm not going to show you how to fix it I know how to fix it but I'm not going to bother um, actually I will show you how to fix it just because um, like I said earlier it's easy to modify to change one item and then um, you're fixing everything else so so let's have a look let's just go and to that side there um, I'm just going to um, where are we? okay the way to do that is basically come in here and, and uh, let's turn turn that off as well so I know what, know what edges we're working with click tab okay and we work with something called um, uh, creases or creases yeah so you want to select edges there's there's an edge um, let's clear that edge that edge that edge that edge that edge that edge and that edge oops I turn that I turn that on already before yeah and let's um, let's just go in there as well that edge and that edge we've got any more edges there's one And that edge and now we can basically make what's called a mean crease which means it, it, it's telling um, the system here to keep those edges sharp depending one is totally sharp and and if you if you anywhere in between zero and one is is less sharp okay we can release our tab now um, and now I can turn our modifiers back on at least they weren't turned off to be honest if I go back and apply my subdivision surface there we go exactly how we wanted it in fact again it's applied across all of those and I can see I must have forgotten an edge here by the looks of it did I if I go into my tab yes I did click on that one let's just increase that increase that crease <laughs> um, there we go okay tab done jobs are good um, 
and that's basically what you do and what that means is now you can make any changes to one side of, of your missile yeah, using your tab um, let's say you want it you want the fin to be longer you want that to happen all fins remain totally symmetrical yeah totally proportional and totally exact um, let's just let's go there there we go you can do all this kind of stuff you can take other parts of it if you want um, you can highlight that you can extrude that you can extrude and and again they all get the same well, we haven't done the hard edges there but um, you get the idea um, yeah and that is basically how you make a missile a very crude looking one here but like I said earlier it's just so that you can see exactly what is happening um, and you can probably something to you could probably source something like this as a template uh, if you ever if you ever want a missile you know that it's already set up to um, to kind of accept uh, changes on all sides and hey presto you can kind of paint it and whatnot and, and there you go so that here endeth my tutorial